What is up, people? Welcome back to yet another one. In today's video, we're going to be taking an introduction to Color Light. If uh, you're using a standalone CPU, if you decide to use a standalone CPU for your specific whatever platform you're going to be using, uh, it's kind of like an easier way if it's a plug and play kit, for instance, in my uh, uh, example, like the EP3 that shows how Tech already has or does supply uh, a basis map and everything for the setup. So it's going to be way easier, it's going to be like nice, we can easy, but obviously I'm going to go into the deeper explanation if you were to be like a custom build engine and then you're using your own stuff, uh, different injectors or different other, you know, different column plug system or whatever. Ideally, if this is a stock car like mine or maybe, you know, just some simple mods, maybe like an intake or an exhaust system, you know, that's still okay, that's okay for the time being. Obviously, if you change anything more like injectors or quote on plug system, uh, you know, different a different input or output sensors, then that will affect uh, the way uh, the base map will work for the vehicle. Uh, but one thing that you need, you do need to change uh, that I'm going to do on a later video when we get into the sensors is the air temp sensor uh, onto the EP3 as the stock manufacturing one that uses uh, can't cope up with the Haltech ECU so Haltech do supply uh, an air temp sensor that you need to uh, switch up with uh, with, the, with the OEM one other than that it uses all the stock sensors like the cooler temp sensor TPS you know map sensor that the car already has so starting off I'm gonna go with the uh, file obviously new uh, if you're using uh, whatever ECU you're going to be using, I'm using 1500 in my case. Obviously, different models depend uh, in terms of uh, not power wise, but kind of like features they have. So, for instance, a plug and play kit uh, Elite 1000 and 1500 is compatible with my EP3, whereas like a Elite 550 or 750 uh, is not, because obviously. They do not have like controls for variable valve timing or VTEC, whereas like the Elite 1000 and 1500 uh, has, that's why it's compatible with my EP3. Uh, so, nice, quick, and easy with the Haltech uh, basic lot up. If this were custom made, you would have to put everything manually onto the engine configuration. Uh, so, engine capacity, you know, whatever size engine you're doing. If it's a four-stroke rotary or maybe even two-stroke fire in order so all of this would have to be custom made uh, and then kind of like more advancing if i press the left arrow over here uh you will put on your trigger system uh whatever trigger system you're using on whatever engine uh i mean for instance you know i'm using the uh where is it i'm using the honda ep3 uh which is kind of like here then I'll have to manually put in sensor type for my trigger signal and home signal. Trigger signal is the one, is the signal basically coming from the crank sensor, whereas the home signal is the signal coming from the camshaft sensor. Uh, some engines run only a crank sensor, so run only a trigger signal, uh, but a lot of cars run in both sensors, kind of like it's more, um, uh, more not more effective, uh, I think it's like more not reliable, more efficient, I would say. Uh, so that's why I like a lot of manufacturers turn into like uh, both trigger and home signal style. I mean, you can run just from a trigger. It's just uh, it might not be as kind of like uh, efficient in my opinion because obviously you got less input in for the ECU. Uh, so yeah, everything would have to be custom. So whatever uh, whatever sensor type you're using, if it's a relactor for some reason that you're using a relactor, which is you know by all means is okay. Some engines do use a relactor ring um, sensor type. If it's a whole effect, full edge from rising edge depending where it is. Some cars again do use a rising edge sort of system. I think especially with uh, some Hondas. Uh, for the coils, uh, they use like a rising edge system, but you get the idea that you have to manually put all of this um, trigger system configuration. Uh, ideally, if if uh, your system is in within, uh, well, your system, your platform is in within Haltech, then you can do it nice and easy, 
and then you can, can import uploads oh, this is one uh, I can upload base map from the kind of like a software uh, how tech software that all of this will come uh, free within the download uh, you know when you download the how tech software go to Honda over here EP3 and then you can see whatever you see you're going to be using Elite 1000, 1500, 2000, uh, 1200 in my case it's 1500 ECU uh, obviously I'm not plugged into my car uh, but you get the idea if you were plugged into your car and then it was uh, if it was an Elite 1500 that's the one you'll be using uh, you choose that and then once you import and then upload the map all of the trick system and fuel configuration and then all of that will be uh, kind of like all loaded up so obviously you need to accept that like all of this that exclamation stuff etc etc and then uh, as you can see in my case okay so dc5 which is basically any uh, ep3 um kind of like where is it there they well uh, obviously as, as soon as i've uploaded that map you can see it says on the crank 12 teeth uh, even space with uh, plus one extra tooth, and then on the home, it'd be uh, 40 with one extra. Uh, you can see, like, my sensor type of the whole effect uh, for the crank. Uh, falling edge over here, full level zero, uh, with the product design being strong. Same, and, same as uh, with my uh, home signal, is a whole effect sensor as well. Um, as for kind of like go, go back to engine, engine configuration, you can see like everything is laid out. It is uh, one, uh, 1198 cc, whereas before it was like 2000. So, this is more specific because obviously, this is the exact uh, base map for my EP3. Obviously, four stroke engine being four cylinder, the four stroke engine that is uh, does come with a cylinder fire and order with three, four, two, as you can see over here. So, all the information is already added into the engine configuration uh, my max plank and rpm 380 i mean obviously you can mess about with that one ideally i would leave it as as it is uh kind of like as it comes standard over there uh i mean all of this is just kind of like base basic stuff uh kind of like a basic tuning just to get the car running uh and get the car going just obviously you can start tuning in from there so if I were to go back to my trigger system and then kind of like uh, click on there, obviously I've got my TDC offset angle table, uh, something that I will leave for the time being, just something to be aware of. And then you've got derivative uh, filter over here. Uh, I will leave that as well. I mean, this is just kind of like of the introduction, just to get an idea uh, of the things that kind of like all the information that you see you will have already if uh they got a base map uh for your vehicle or for your specific platform so that's going to be your trigger system uh fuel system as well everything is going to be locked and loaded on there as well so with the k20 engine in there uh it's called sequential type injector system so one injector per cylinder so as you can see over here uh, I mean, obviously, if this was like an old school uh, V8 engine LS or something like that, it might have been like semi sequential or kind of like a uh, multi point or something like that. Not just an LS, I mean, like older, some like older generation uh, V8 engines. That's what they used, they used to use back in the day. But obviously, K20 is going to be sequential. Um, same with ignition system, uh, because it is a coil on plug, is a direct fire as it shows in here. Falling edge, in my case, again, some Hondas, uh, they might use a uh, rising edge. Obviously, that's going to be in the default settings uh, that you're going to choose if your platform is already on there. Again, just to be aware of that. Uh, if, if your platform ain't in there, then all of this, it will be have to be like, uh, custom selected uh so like back to engine configuration uh you will need to put in uh engine capacity so if it was like a 1600 cc engine or a three liter or whatever so all of this same with the trigger system and the fuel system and all of the plus the ignition system as well you would have to kind of like put everything manually so whether it's uh if it was a column plug system or if it was um uh sequential like uh for instance my k20 
or if it's like maybe an older older design which is uh kind of like distributeless um distributeless system so you're gonna have like spark plug wires then you will have to put that in manually uh on like your ignition system uh so it wouldn't be direct fire it could be like a waste spark system if it was in the case of maybe like a mitsubishi evo which uses a um, waste spark system or like i said like a distributed system so depending if it was custom made and then you're doing your own custom build you will have to manually put in whatever systems you're using in my case it's like nice quick and easy uh because i'm using the base map that's got all the information from how tech itself uh again whatever you know uh, whatever brand uh you're going to be using ecu tech uh you know like link uh motec maybe am infinity uh, they do support base maps for, um, uh, you know, different engine platforms. Not all of them that you're gonna have to check with, uh, uh, with, uh, manufacturer, not with the manufacturer, yeah, with the manufacturer, I would say itself, uh, to see if they do support, uh, kind of like your car, or is it gonna be the case of starting from scratch? Uh, this is just a basic introduction as for the engine configuration. Uh, kind of like make a short video about this one. In the next video, we're talking about the sensors, uh, kind of like and getting more specific about the air temp sensor uh, with the EP3 that you do need to change. I'll be talking more about that one. Uh, other than that, that was the kind of like video, guys, for kind of like the general kind of like discussion on uh, how to get your engine connected. This is, I mean, we're not, we're still not talking about starting the engine. We're just basically doing the engine configuration, get all the inputs. Uh, all the right information to for the ECU to actually uh, be able to um, communicate uh, with the sensors and then once the engine starts to run it can actually receive correct information and actually uh, send out correct signals and out different outputs to uh, run the engine properly that was the video guys if you like the video give it a thumbs up uh, if you want to leave a comment down below uh, ask me about any questions about engine configuration I'll do my best to answer uh, as I still mentioned, I'm still learning this stuff myself, so I would do my best to answer uh, within my knowledge. Uh, if there's anything that I'm not quite sure, obviously, I'll be honest, I'll be honest and I'll let you guys know. Uh, I would do research and then kind of like uh, if I can find an answer for your specific question. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video.